Kev, it's obviously a, a sad day around the world of baseball, but uh, I think I look at it as a chance to kind of celebrate the life of an amazing person in Yogi Berra who passed away at 90 years old last night. And, and a way for us to celebrate a guy who crossed over beyond baseball because of his yogiisms, because of how generous he was, et cetera, et cetera. Did you ever have a chance to cross paths with the man? Yeah, I met him at Yankee Stadium a few times. Uh, that, do this, Chris. You will not find one bad thing about Yogi Berra. Yep. That's the thing. You can sit back, and when people pass, you know, they're great people, and we understand that side of it. This man right here was an amazing human being. It didn't matter who you were. It didn't matter if you were the four-hitter right. for the Yankees, or it didn't matter if you were the concession worker that was in the stands. He treated everybody amazingly, smiled, down to earth, and just, you know, he's the man. He's Yogi. I think that's the thing, is that uh, it gives me a chance to, to learn a lot more about Yogi Berra um, today in his passing because the kids are asking a lot of questions about how good was he. And this is one of those times, listen, I miss my parents every day. This is one of those times I really miss him because I would have loved to have asked my, my dad and mom, who were great sports fans, and my dad was a huge fan of DiMaggio, but obviously had great respect for Yogi Berra. I, I want to know how great he was, because I think it's the one thing we never talked about with Yogi. It was the aloofness. It was the yogiisms. It was all that. It wasn't the fact that the dude was an 18-time All-Star and a three-time league MVP. Yeah, I think you're right. Our, our, our age, our generation, you hear about all the different jokes and all the different scenes and the yogiisms mm -hmm. and all that stuff, but it almost, it almost takes away from how great of a player he was, mm -hmm. the greatest catcher in this game. Uh, I wish I had a chance to see him. I wish I had a chance to see a lot of the greats that we hear about, you know. Uh, but we right. only can see what we see. But this man right here was an unbelievable human being in uniform, around the game, I mean, to the last days of his, uh, of his life. And uh, you got, you got to really uh, be proud if you ever had a chance to shake Yogi Bear's hand. Well, obviously, uh, throughout the entire day here on MLB Network, we've been talking about the passing of a Hall of Famer, a legend, a 10-time World Series champion. By the way, you know how hard it was for you to get one of those rings. Ten. It's uh, undescribable, really. I mean, you sit back and you think, you know, and a guy in our generation, Derek Jeter, I, I feel like he's had ten, right? Right. And you look at Derek Jeter and he's had four. So five. It, it's five. Sorry, five. I, mis I, I misremembered 2009. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, th th this situation, ten World Series rings, Chris. Amazing. Doesn't make sense. Amazing. Uh, anyway, I was getting to the point that, that all day uh, people have been remembering Yogi Berra, what they meant, what he meant to them. And uh, let's give a listen to some of the guests we've had on our respective programs. Yogi Berra was one of the greatest and beloved players ever. An 18-time All-Star, a three-time MVP and Hall of Famer. Over the years, he moved from a giant in the sport to a cultural icon whose yogiisms are quoted by everyone from young children to presidents of the United States. More than anything, he was a winner. He played on 14 pennant winners and 10 world champions. He managed and coached his teams to additional titles. It's with uh, heavy hearts today that we mourn the loss of the great Yogi Bear who passed away at the age of 90. We all know what a great person Yogi was and obviously a tremendous player as well. 18 time all-star, 10 World Series champion. It's impossible to quantify his impact on the game. It's more than half a century since he played his last game, and yet he's among just a handful of players who played at that time or before that a 15 or 20 year old kid would instantly recognize and at least know something about. So he, he's been part of the American scene, I guess, for pretty close to 70 years. But I think one of the things that gets overlooked, this dude was at Normandy. We're talking, that, that he, he was at D-Day, rushing the beaches as allied forces are getting picked off one after another. He is probably one of the, the, the last living guys from what, what I would call the greatest generation. 18 years old, before he even went off to play baseball, he's rushing the beaches in, in honor of preserving something that, that allows the three of us to sit here on a couch today no doubt. And, and celebrate this great game. He played in 75 World Series games, struck out 17 times. He knew hitting so well. Yeah. I've always said one thing about the old man. If he wasn't the most beloved man in this country, then I'm afraid I hadn't met that guy yet. Because everywhere that we went, people just uh, stopped what they were doing, um, you know, to say hello, look, wave. 
uh, it was amazing the effect that he had on people. It was just a pleasure to be around him. He was, uh, you know, he, he, quite a man. It's a great American story. It's a great baseball story. You talk about being born to Italian immigrants in St. Louis then serving in the D-Day invasion, then winning more, more World Series rings than any player in the history of the games. With Yogi, you mourn. There's a mourning period, but in reality, you cherish the memories and celebrate his life. And Yogi, his popularity, what's so nice is it goes beyond just baseball. I mean, people at all walks of life say it ain't over till it's over. And never made an error. There's a man who never made an error in a World Series game. He won three MVPs. He really should have won four. Uh, we were just tight, and uh, I'm, I'm going to miss him a lot. He's just this tremendous individual. The fans love him, too, so, I mean, he's synonymous with the Yankees. He's what legacy is all about. The way he lived his life post-baseball elevated his stature. This is a man that had an incredible, incredible life, incredible life. So this is not a day that, you know, we mourn, of course, but this is a day we honor Yogi. Very well said, Chris Russo, obviously. Listen, people are saddened, um, but when you look at the life this guy led, we're talking about storming the beaches of Normandy, married to his wife for 65 years, and won 10 World Series. If you accomplish one of those three things in your life, right, you're right, pretty good. Right. You've led an amazing right. life, let alone go for the trifecta, right? Yeah, I, that, that's exactly right. And what Russo said is that, you know what, you mourn, but you also celebrate an amazing yes. human being. And you know what? Like I said, we're very fortunate to have a guy like that on the earth for that many years. And this guy was uh, everything that, you know, every one of those guys have said and amazing.